So there is a kind of a follow-up from our previous conversation. We know that a lot of times when a recruiters read a good resume, they will go directly on LinkedIn to kind of know more about this person, their values, their personal brand, their online presence. But still a lot of newcomers, they don't know how to use LinkedIn when searching for a job. So I always tell my clients, have a full LinkedIn account, banner, picture, headliner, about section, and then you do networking or follow companies and reach out to recruiters. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seeker in which areas they should focus and how should they tell their story in the about section? Mm -hmm. So the first thing is that everybody needs a LinkedIn profile. Yeah. I tell my clients that LinkedIn is your resume on steroids <laughs> because it's there 24 hours of the day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Even yeah. when you're sleeping, somebody could be looking at your LinkedIn profile. Right. So you need a robust LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the headline. Yeah, The headline should be could be like your brand statement. Yeah. It's not necessarily your title. Yeah. Because sometimes people will will, you know, have a title and then the title may not relate to the job that they, they're looking for. Or right. somebody could be turned off because, oh, you know, he's a VP of something. And then, you know, they might say, I don't want to read, yeah. read that. So yeah, so they should have a um uh, a headline that pretty much tells it's a hundred and fifty character space yeah. now, so pretty much tells them who they are. Like my headline, if I remember correctly, says "Chief Encouragement Officer," which is CEO, but it's Chief Encouragement Officer who aligns with, collaborates with mid career professionals, executives, yeah. and emerging leaders to find satisfying careers. Right off, somebody wouldn't question. Somebody would know exactly what I do. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you get a headline that speaks to what you do. What you do. The about section mm -hmm. is key because in that space, LinkedIn allows us, I think, 3,000 characters. Correct, yeah. So that's your marketing. That's where you have to put anything you want somebody to know about you. Mm -hmm. You put it in that space. And you also include a phone number and your email address in the space as well. So when someone, when a recruiter is reading it, they have all the information that they need right there. Yeah. And you that's where, again, you're going to include your accomplishments. What is it that makes you so special? Yeah. What is it, why you, what makes you stand out? Mm -hmm. What are your achievements? How yeah. much did you help if you were in sales? How much did sales did you bring in yeah. to the organization? And people must not be afraid to tell their success stories. Yeah. They that's the it, it's on LinkedIn, on your in your LinkedIn about section, as well as on your resume, you have permission to brag. Yeah. And the reason I say that is. If you have the evidence that you did this and you did that, brag yeah. about it. Because if you don't tell people, they won't know. They will not know. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry about people thinking, oh, well, you know, they're just bragging and showing off. No, because if you have done it, that's not bragging. That's not showing off because you have the evidence. So that's that's it. That's the most important piece, actually, mm -hmm. on LinkedIn. And of course, you have... A nice professional photograph. Yes. And please let it be you and you alone. Yeah. I've had people, I remember years ago, um, somebody sent me a LinkedIn invitation. And when I looked, it was it was two men in the in the <laughs> photograph. So I was here saying, Who am I who am I going to speak with? Connect with. Yeah. You know, yes. Yeah. So in terms of being professional, that's what you do. And one another important piece. LinkedIn allows you um, 50 skills. Yeah. Make sure you list all 50. Yeah. Because when when they when for search engine optimization purposes, 
people will be looking for different things. So make sure you maximize that. Yeah. Some people, depending on their work experience, they might not have it. Yeah. Have that many, but make sure you you do that. Yeah. Make sure that you have recommendations on your LinkedIn, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And not only that they have recommendations, but they themselves can recommend others because it's a give. It's not a, it's not all about them. Yeah. It's not just about me, me, me. Mm -hmm. It's you get a recommendation, you can do you can do the same for others as well. Yeah. And do you think that it's a wise decision or it all depends? You know, I tell my clients, okay, once you apply directly to the company's website, you can reach out to the recruiter or hiring manager and tell them, hey, Daisy, uh, I applied to your role and maybe put uh, kind of one of your accomplishments or what you can bring to the table as we dis discussed in the previously. And we know that, that recruiters and hiring managers, they are busy and they might be bombarded with so much request, but that also if you make your research or show them what you can bring to the table and makes you different from others, that way they will take into consideration that, right? That's a great point. Hmm. And I'm so glad you brought that up. Because, and this is where some job seekers will stand out more than others. Yeah. So the, what they will do, they will apply online, as you have said, because yeah. that's what they say, apply online. Yeah. But you know that so many people apply online and because of the applicant tracking system some resumes are just not going to show up mm -hmm. so i advise my clients to one apply online let them know that you're following the rules by yeah. applying online but no harm in printing a hard copy of your resume and cover letter and putting it in a, a letter size a big envelope and snail mail it oh. to the person. So yeah. that means you're going to do your research and find out who the hiring manager is. Get the name yeah, and address it and mail it to them. Why do you do that? People like to see their name in print. Mm. So if I see an envelope coming into my office with my name on it, I am going to open it. Now, does that guarantee that you're going to no. get an interview? Or get, no, but you have gone the extra mile. Yes. The other, the other thing, what I, I encourage people to do as well is to customize that particular cover letter. Mm -hmm, for sure. To say, dear Mr. Archer, I I responded online by apply, I applied for the job online, yeah. but you and I know that sometimes because of the applicant tracking system, sometimes great candidates get missed. Yes. And because of that, I am taking the liberty of sending you my resume and yeah. cover letter to make sure that at least you have seen it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by then you're being respectful because you're telling them that you follow the rules and you applied online, yeah. but you're taking the extra step to send it to them. Yeah. You never know what could come out of that activity. Yeah. Those are great tips, Stacey. Thank you very much. And for the audience, if you have any more tips in terms of LinkedIn, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Daisy.